I'm not, I'm not, put that away, I, I don't do recordings. Put that away, I, I don't do recordings. Uh, okay. Why are you running? Why are you running? Do a quick question? Yeah. All right, you said you felt that the students protesting were driven by anti-Semitism? Yes. Do you feel it's possible they're driven by horror at the slaughter in Gaza? Do, do what, sorry? Do you think they're driven by horror at the slaughter in Gaza? Is it necessarily anti-Semitism? Of course they're not driven by the horror in the slaughter. Oh, you, by, oh, you mean... Of the students protesting. Well, uh, are, are you recording this? I'm not, I'm not, put that away. I, I don't do recordings. Okay. New atheists like Richard Dawkins have made their careers out of attacking Islam's Quran and the Christian Bible condemning these texts for inspiring horrific religious violence. However, these atheists never mention the Jewish Talmud. They also refuse to condemn Isn't Real's Talmud-inspired policies of Jewish racial supremacy, apartheid, and genocide. After all, criticizing the Talmud, Isn't Real or Jewish violence is considered anti-Semitism. New atheists fall into two categories. Jewish supremacist Jews, like Sam Harris and Christopher Hitchens, and Jewish supremacist non-Jews like Dawkins. The new atheist movement could be named the Jew Atheist Movement. In this sense, Dawkins is a leading Jew atheist even though he is not Jewish himself. Dawkins proves that you don't need to be a Jew to support the Jewish supremacist ideology of Jew atheism.